Hey, remember I had two molly bolts right there and I ended up poking them in there and because the hole was so big and because this is an exterior wall, catch that, it's an exterior wall. So I ended up putting some silicone in there and filling that up first. Now I cut a little piece of self-adhesive webbing tape. You don't have to put the whole piece on there. I cut it in half. Put a little piece here, a little piece there. And now I can just put my, my quick set over that. And once that dries, it's going to be nice and tight. Now, you could, could you just put quick set over your webbing tape? Yeah, you can. I, I just had the silicone out, you know, to do some other stuff, and I thought I would try that, and it sure made sense to do that. Are you going up above your head and get some more? What, Dad? Yeah, I'll do, yeah, I'll do that. I'll do that. Okay. Now see right there, I can, most of that I'm going to skim in there. That's, that was some area, this was skimming material over here, over the existing spray texture wall because they put wallpaper on this wall, you remember? Yep. Because they put it right over the existing paint, some of it, Came off. some of it was loose, so I ended up scraping that bit off. So ultimately, I'm going to skim that. Uh, well, probably was quick set first, but because there's a little bit of a ridge right here, I'm just going to hit that right now. Okay. My next coat of quick set, I can, oh, when I do this patch, I'll do this whole area here. Uh, it's slightly low right there, too. You know, so I'm just going to kind of put that in. If you see lumps in your mud, I see a few lumps here means you didn't mix up your quick set all the way. Do a better job at it. Next time, I'll note my next little batch that I end up doing. Okay. Mm -hmm. I think I can leave that for now. Why? I gotta let that dry, Dad, because I can't play with that much more. Once it dries, I can lightly scrape it down because that's only the first coat. So I can lightly scrape it down. I'll put a second coat of Quickset on there after this one dries. Then it will be a lot smoother. Oh yeah. What I'd like to try to do first is do all my webbing patch areas first. When you think you're all done, look around. Make sure you didn't miss any. I was getting ready to go do something else, and I forgot about this one right here. Glad I saw that, and I like to use my construction light. You know, it works out really good. They only cost, you know, anywhere from $10 to $20, depending on what hardware store you go to. And that comes in so handy because you can see all kinds of stuff you wouldn't have seen on your walls had you not had a light shining on there. You might think, oh, I don't need a, I don't need a light. Why do I need a light? I can see fine, but trust me, when you got a light on there, you'll see all kinds of stuff you didn't think was even there. Okay. That's all I'm going to do for that. I'm going to let that dry and move on to the next little patch. Put some more above it. Here's a particular construction light I have. They have different ones. You don't have to get this exact one. I think I got a 500 halogen bulb. They have 250, 300, 500. You can get the 500. That'll serve you well. The other ones work fine too though, okay? And remember, here's these strips on the wall that I cut out. That was the wallpaper or the sheetrock facing that was puckering and lifting where they double cut the wallpaper. Bad guys they were. But you know what? Usually when you install wallpaper, lots of the professionals, they don't like using the pre-finished straight edges, especially a paper wallpaper. And so he did that, and, and that's fine. Okay? Now, I'm just, all I have to do is just float right on over that. Nice and simple.
Ooh. That's what the other one should be done too. Okay, I guess I better hit this one over here. Yeah. Up high. Yeah. gone forever I'm still more than likely I'm going to put another coat of quick set over that when I get ready to do my second coat on all my other patches and then this entire wall is going to be re-skimmed okay now if you were just covering this thinking you're going to paint right over this I would never suggest that you'd have to do is put um, all-purpose joint compound over that because if you don't your patch will stick out like a sore thumb you've heard me harp on that before and I mean it too <laughs> I've seen some patches like that or um, you know even on houses new houses where they had to come in and patch and they thought oh nobody's gonna see it well, you know, once you put the paint on the wall after the patch, I don't care how smooth you get it. You can get it as smooth as a baby's butt. And it's still going to stick out because the, the, paint, the paint adheres and bonds into Quickset differently than regular joint compound or topping compound that type of wet mud, okay? Remember that. Hey, well that's all I got for today, but I'll be back with more videos.